Hi, this is Brendan Connor 9686 here. Here with another detail that you're looking for on your cards. See, magnetic case. This is my Gob Gobumon, the cat Digimon card. Just like you guys collect Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon, sports cards, you're always putting them in a magnetic case. That's smart. Now, when you're looking at the card, you're looking for gold somewhere on the card. That's a sign that it could be a first edition. So this is a gold first edition Gobumon card. Doesn't say first edition, like my Slaymon. So, uh, this card pretty well graded coming back a 9, 8, or a 10, or a 7. Uh, I would say, let's say 80 bucks. 80 bucks. 80 bucks isn't bad. 80 bucks can get you still some more cards graded. 80 bucks or 90 bucks. You name it. All you have to do is grade your Digimon cards, your sports cards. Keep them in a magnetic case like I do. I mean, look at these puppies. They're not damaged. Only the case gets damaged. Now, uh, what you're looking for is no damage on the back, the corners, the edges, or anywhere in the front. If you see something off with your card, get it checked out by the company that you bought it from. Okay? So, say you buy a a uh, good looking War Greymon or War Garugamon card like I have and you want to get it graded by Beckett, PSA, and CGC. Now, when you're looking for anything on a Digimon card, you're supposed to look very closely since it's all blue or white. So, make sure you always figure out if your cards are real they're not fake you get them graded keep them in a magnetic case for later then uh wait until you can go to collecticon and then get them graded by those free companies beckett cgc or psa and you could probably be uh, all over the news or all over YouTube or something like that like I am so Digimon cards are the new thing just like sports cards uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards Pokemon cards Pokemon cards I have to I have a hollow Charizard card if you ever want to see that puppy and Blastoise and a Venusaur this will be all for now. That's my advice video.